Where did the condo market come from? Out of nowhere, it's just outperforming. And then a huge bounce back from the multifamily market while Steady Eddie in the single family market continues just to chug along. If you're looking to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for the month of September for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamilies, then you're in the right place. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent and I've sold more than a thousand homes. We get calls, texts, and emails from folks just like you who are looking to make a move in the Boston metro area and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next 9 or 90 days, it doesn't matter. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or an email, or drop by YouTubeRealEstateAgent.com and fill your information, and then we'll reach out to you. Let's start with single families. In September of 2023, we saw 2,980 single family homes sell for an average sales price of $746,000. Now, we knew two things that sales were going to decrease and that those levels were going to be below last year's levels. September of 2023's numbers were off of September of 2022 numbers by 30.2% when 4,268 units closed. I think the concern from my vantage point is that the uptick in the last two months for how much sales were off of year over year. In July, we were 20% off year over year. In August, that went up to 22%, now 30.2%. We have seen headlines saying that pending home sales were down or purchase loan applications once again at lowest level since 1995. We knew that this was going to be the case. And by the way, we know it's not going to get any better for the foreseeable future. The sales side sucks. It's continued to suck and it's going to continue to suck. We got that. We know that. But what about prices? With them down so much, we must be seeing crazy price corrections, right? September was our best month per year over year of sales price increases. July was good, August was good, and September was the equivalent of a party for home sellers. That means single family home prices have gone up by 3.78% for the first nine months of 2023. That is an increase from last month when the year over year increase was 3.46%. I said it in the last month's video, that, but the cake has been baked. There's no question in regards to home prices for 2023. It's going to be an up year for single family homes. But what if I told you that home prices actually decreased in Massachusetts this year? Hold that thought, because we're going to talk about how home prices actually went down in Massachusetts momentarily. Let's dig into this data. Oh, look, this is not a pretty graph. This really shows exactly how bad our sales levels in September were. Our 2,980 sold homes is nestled neatly in between the sales levels we saw in September of 2010 when 2,787 houses sold and 2011 among 3,164 sold. Like I said, from a sales perspective, this was a bad month. But keep in mind that properties closing in September are really late July and August pendings. We had talked about how the summer sucked. And that's 27 consecutive months. Look at that. That is 27 consecutive months of year-over-year -year sales decline. I mean, come on, just crazy. Let's have some fun here. In the comment section below, put the month and the year do you think we're going to break this trend and sales levels will be a year-over-year -year increase? It's been 27 months since we've seen one. But as we know, the sales levels don't correlate with prices because we can see that in this graph. Less sales, higher prices. You want to sum up 2023, then that would be the best way to do it. Yes, sales have been down by for 27 consecutive months, but prices have now been up for 40 consecutive months. If prices were to go down, then we would need a surge of inventory. So let's check in with the inventory side of the story. It's more of the same here. There is a but though. Inventory remains at record levels. Our inventory levels are down 16.8% when comparing inventory levels of September of 2022. So what's the but? Inventory is trending up. I think or feel, well, the data does say it. Last month, we were down 22.7% year over year. So 16.8% would be an improvement, if you're a buyer, that is. And inventory levels are still five and a half times lower than they were when we last had this amount of sales back in 2010 and 2011. Inventory is low. There's no fighting that. But that was 6.6 .6 times fewer homes on the market last month. Like I said, there seems to be a but. Look at the blue line. The blue line is this year's inventory levels and is creeping towards the 2021 levels. I'm thinking that we will surpass 2021 levels sometime in October of this year. I don't foresee us exceeding the 2022 levels, but the 2020 levels are definitely within sight. We now have 921 fewer units than we did at the same time last year, while it's only 354 fewer units in 2021. It's 100% my feelings, and there is really no data to show it in any kind, but I feel like sales on the higher end 
it really slowed and it's starting to make inventory grow ever so slightly. Quick recap. So sales of the single family market were off by 30% while inventory was off by 17% when compared to last year's numbers. That's a pretty big imbalance. Will it continue? If so, then be prepared for a, a bit of an inventory build this fall, which would be great news for home buyers. I will continue to say, because I'm blue in the face, home prices are not just tied to sales levels. They're tied to inventory levels as well. Keep in mind, what happens for the fall is the setup for our winter, and more importantly, spring market of next year. So this will be a very interesting couple of months. But look at that. The trend in the single family market continues. Yes, home prices went down month over month, but this happens every year. It's the year over year pricing that matters. Now, if I wanted to mislead you, I'd be talking about how home prices are down 9% from their peak. But as we all know, anytime we see prices from their peak narrative, then we know it's a BS stat because September was the best month we have had all year for year over year price gains. So I mentioned earlier that home prices were actually down so far this year. How could I make such a dumb claim after looking at that data? Have you heard of the term real wage? It's the value of the wage after you account for inflation. So if you got a 4% increase in wages, but inflation was 5%, then your real wages actually decreased by 1%. Year to date, home prices are up 3.78%. The inflation rate year to date in the United States is 4%, which if you're listening to the Bureau of Stats, eh, that seems a little low. But that means that the real housing costs are actually down by 0.22%. Now, for the record, I've never heard of anyone using the term real housing costs before, but they should. Basically, housing costs in Massachusetts are currently keeping up with inflation. We have the condo market and the multifamily market up next. But first, if you're liking hearing about the Massachusetts real estate market, then please consider subscribing. And can you do me a huge favor? Can you hit that like button? It just helps with the YouTube algorithm and it just makes a huge difference for this video as well as the channel. So it's a huge favor to me. So thank you. Now for the month of September, we saw 1,322 condos close in Massachusetts for an average sales price of $676,000. Now the condo market seems to be coming back to earth. Let's talk about the sales levels first because that's all you read about. It's the only narrative that they can hammer the real estate market on. The 1,322 units sold is a 16.1% decrease compared to last September when 1,575 units closed. Now the sales trends continue with it following the trend of a sales level peak in June and decreasing sales in the later months. Last month, we saw a 20% year over year decrease. So this 16%, well, it's an improvement. The September sales levels were not pretty, especially when you look at them like this. Our sales levels put us somewhere between the sales levels that we saw in 2011 and 2012. I personally think the condo sales will be the first to, I hate to use this term, but normalize. The average is 1,666 unit sales over that 13 year period. I'd take that average. When does this happen? I have no idea, but I can't imagine interest rates in the 8% range are going to help. September was an all time low, but just like the single family market, the inventory levels, they're ticking up. The inventory levels are currently 3.3 times lower than they were back in 2011. I want to point out that that number was four times lower just one month ago. And condo buyers will probably be, well, excited to hear about this. The gap between inventory levels in 2021 and 2022, well, they're closing. As of the end of September, we had 10% fewer condos on the market as we did in 2022 and 18% fewer and in 2021. Again, what happens in the fall market, specifically with inventory, is the setup for the spring market. Inventory bills in the fall market would be a glorious thing for spring home buyers. As a year over year comparison, sales were down 16%, while the amount of new listings were down 12%, as we had 2,197 new listings hit the market in September of 2023 compared to the 2,503 that hit the market in September of 2022. This is what buyers want to hear. Remember how in July, home prices were up by 20.7%, and then in August, how they were up 13.9%. Well, the party, it's still going on for the condo market. As a matter of fact, September was better than August. When you look at the year-over-year -year increase, the average sales price of $676,000 was 14.9% higher than the average sales price in September of 2022 when it was $588,000. Now, I do think it's also important to note that September of last year was the condo market's low point and was generally an outlier for year-over-year -year comparisons. So this continues to be crazy. 
In the first six months of the year, the average sales price was 2.5%, then 5.4% when you added in July data, then 6.43% when you factor in August, and now 7.21% year-over-year gain when you factor in September sales. It's a great time to be a condo owner in the state of Massachusetts. And now for my very quick and, well, shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then reach out to me today as it would be a true honor to guide you through the process. Now onto the multifamily market. Who would have thought that the multifamily market would have been the big winner of the month? For prices, that is. It's still a bloodbath with a limited amount of sales, but in September of 2023, we saw 407 multifamily units sell for an average sales price of $849,000. It's not a surprise that sales were down. What is a surprise is the extent to how much sales were down, though. Sales were off by 37% when compared to the sales levels of September 2023. I guess that isn't awful, considering the average sales decline comparing the first nine months of 2023 versus 2022 is 32.8%, but 37% is a big number. The issue that I see is that we continue to go in the wrong direction. That's now four months in a row where the sales declines have grown. It was 28% in June, then 29% in July, 31% in August, and now 37% in September. And then this chart really just continues to drive home the point. The 407 units sold multifamily properties was the lowest amount of property sold since I started collecting the data back in 2010. Now, let's take a look at the inventory levels. Yes, sales are at an all-time low, but so is inventory. So I guess they balance themselves out. At the end of September, there were 845 multifamily properties for sale in the state of Massachusetts. New listings were down 8.6% year over year, as there were 765 newly listed multifamily properties in September 2023, compared to the 837 in September 2022. When you compare our inventory levels today to those of August of 2010, then we are nearly 3.0 times fewer multifamily homes that are currently on the market. Inventory is down 23.9% in September of 2023, year over year. It's all about perspective though, right? Because when you look at it this way, September was a phenomenal month for the multifamily market. The average sales price was up 16.5% year over year. I guess it's safe to say that September made up for the week August. This chart really shows you how sales prices have been all over the place this year for multifamilies. And thanks to the September data, the average sales price for a multifamily property in Massachusetts is now up 2.1% for the first nine months of the year. And this is compared to the 0.28% that we recorded last month when it was back during the first eight months of the year. September was that great of a month. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? All of my information, it's in the description below. I always love to talk real estate. So whether you're looking to buy in the next nine or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you. Just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you're thinking about possibly selling, then we can help you traditionally or even offer you a cash offer on your house for a seamless and stress-free sales process. No matter what your situation, we can help you get it done. You can also visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com and fill in your information and then we'll reach out to you any questions or comments about any of this market data, then throw me a line in the comments section below. You take the time to watch the video, so I'm always going to take the time to respond. Until next time.